covering Martin County where black goo or something resembling it is found in the Indian River Lagoon. What is it? And is more on the way. News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts, part of the largest news team on the Treasure Coast, and she joins us live from Jensen Beach. Megan. Michael, tonight environmental experts are trying to figure out exactly what washed up ashore here on Hutchinson Island over the weekend. A viewer sent us a photo he took on Sunday of what appeared to be a black gooey substance, which has since cleared away tonight. The water here is still clear, but experts say in the near future it may not stay that way. Terry Baker looks forward to fishing weekly at the Jensen Beach Causeway. Flounder, snapper, um... Stingrays. But what's in the water just a few miles away has him worried. All this picture. It's very disgusting. It uh, looks like uh, tar or oil. This photo a viewer sent us shows a black goo like substance on the Hutchinson Island shoreline just south of Herman Bay that he says spanned for about 100 yards. And we fish different areas, but I've never seen it. Baker has fished on Hutchinson Island as well, but after seeing this, yeah, I wouldn't eat anything I caught from over there. Mark Perry with the Florida Oceanographic Society says these pictures alarm him too. I think that is a concern is the size of it and, and the extent of it. The goo washed away before Perry was able to get a sample, but with his experience, he says he believes it's something he has seen before. But that fine material that he had in his hand is more indicative of a, of a cyanobacteria or a blue-green algae. He says this indicates that there are likely extra nutrients and bacteria in the water. It's unusual, but it could be triggered again by uh, things like uh, the discharges that are happening from Lake Okeechobee or other discharge events and runoff from the rain. Baker saying now he'll stick to the causeway for his fish. No, it's a place uh, to bring your family and enjoy life. But, you know, if you got to get in the water with that, we won't do it. As discharges from Lake Okeechobee are expected to continue on top of just local runoff from all the rain we've had, Perry says he does expect that black substance could come back. If you do see it, he urges you to take a sample of it and send it to the health department. We're live on Hutchinson Island tonight. Megan McRoberts, WPTV News Channel 5.